Hey everybody. I did a video review of the Seat Infinity 4 cable car tuner car, but I never did make a video about how to set Windows Media Center. We were looking at the Mid Tower Lux Black Max, just upgraded the hardware to a brand new platform. And I had to reinstall Windows, so got 64 bit Windows 7 on here now. Let's go ahead and get Windows Media Center set up. You now get over here to the extras gallery. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to run the digital cable advisor. And it has to install. Accept the license terms. And click OK to run this file. Click Next. Agree to the terms. Click Next. Start test. It's going to run a test. And since the system passed, we're going to update system settings. Now, basically, used to be the, the Black Max would fail this test because of the graphics card. That's no longer an issue because the computer now has a Radeon HD 4650, which should not have any issues at all with HDCP um, technology. Because I mean, this 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 graphics card even has HDMI port built into it. <clears throat> Go ahead and update system settings and click on done. Now, um, next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is set this computer for to access the seat and device on the computer. Now, my only concern is I'm not sure when you go to reinstall Windows whether or not it's going to delete um, the tuner that the computer was using from the registry on the other computer. So it might go to say when I go to access the um, device that all tuners are used. If that's the case, I'll have to go reset all the tuner network tuning on the other computer. Well, let's just see what it's going to do. Let's go to extras, and this is the Seat and Infinity TV Network Tuners Wizard. We're going to run that and see what happens. Click on next. Say yes. Let's see if it. Let's see if it says there's one available or not. Say Windows Firewall. Good. It, it just, the tuner four was still available. So let me go ahead and review what I did. You click on Set Infinity TVs in the Welcome Wizard. It discovers the tuner device on the other computer. Which the cool thing about the Seaton device is, while the computer is a host of the device, the Seaton device really is a, stand, is a standalone device. It has its own IP address. It has, it really even has its own operating system on. It actually has a Linux kernel on it, from what I've heard. Because you can access this this device over your web browser, which I'll I'll demonstrate here shortly. And I click yes to configure Infinity TVs with these results. And use Windows Firewall because that's that's what's installed. And my first the seat um my computer has access to this tuner. The TV computer has access to the second and third tuner. And this computer will have access to the fourth. So I click next. It's going to apply changes. Basically, Windows Media Center is going to restart. Ah, new updates are available. That's something you always see every time you boot up your Windows machine. It should restart automatically. I may have to, I may have to manually start it. Oh, there it goes. 
is saying it's complete and this is unrelated. It's just asking if I want to add the gadget to the desktop, which I will. You click on finish. And then it's asking would I like to proceed to Media Center Tuner Setup. Yes, I would, so I'll click OK. Now set up TV signal. Click yes. Type in a zip code. This is for the guide. Agree to the program guide terms of service. Click next. And agree to the dreaded play ready software. This can be a headache sometimes. Digital rights management crap. Click next. It's going to install play ready. This play ready is highly known to have an issue when it goes to update. It'll do an infinite loop, more or less. It'll, it'll say it's updating play ready, then it'll say the play ready update was incomplete. You'll not be able to watch protected content, and it says, Do you want to try again? And you click yes, and it'll just be a loop again, over, over, over again. Anyways, it's telling me that it's found the tuner, which is a digital cable, cable card tuner. Which is over time Warner. Let's say yes, configure TV with these results. Click next. Now it's going to want to activate support for digital cable. This kind of misleading here it says select next to enter your product key. The key is already entered, and it's not the same key that's used to activate Windows. Otherwise, I wouldn't even show it to you. This is your digital rights manager right here, guys. <clears throat> Anytime your DRM gets reset and this key gets changed or whatever, all your recorded TV, or at least a time on cable anyway, all your recorded TV that was recorded on channels besides your locals is no longer watchable. Now, the cable card is already activated on this tuner, but, um,. I'll show you how that works. Click next to say yes, you want to set up Windows Media Center with use of a cable card. Saying activate your cable card. It's already activated, but it's going to run this setup anyway. It tells you a phone number, which is phone number is incorrect. That is the general support phone number for Time Warner Cable that will run you through the computer. The um the phone tree that's really aggravating it's really only for cable support issues and billing and that crap you want to call the phone number that's on the Seaton cable card activation support um, page that comes with the tuner there's one for Time Warner that's 866-606-5889 I mean excuse me 866 -606 that's the number you want to call for Time Warner Cable. That is the cable car support hotline. Anyways, when, when you call them, <clears throat> you have to give them your cable card ID and your host ID, and then they'll pair the, the tuner, which takes very little time at all. And in case you're um, actually curious about how this tuner card is set up, let me go ahead and walk in there and show it to you. Okay, here's the Q Computer Mid Tower Lux, which actually has a tuner card. Cat, don't do that again. You did it in my video yesterday. Anyways, um, got this Infinity TV device, which is a quad tuner card. Um, basically, this is a device that can stream its tuners to the network, and it's really, I mean, even though it's hosted by the computer, it's a standalone device. And basically, with Time Warner Cable, you have to have a switch, di um, switch digital video adapter or switch tuning adapter. And it's this device right here. This is included with the cable card. And to rent a cable card from Time Warner, it's about $2.50 a month. Now, here's the big confusing thing about setting this up. With TiVos and many other um, DVR devices that use cable cards, 
you would use you would plug in the cable like so just like this the USB into the, into the device and this cable out would go to your tuner on the device with the Seton cable card tuner that's not that's not the way it works you have to run a splitter there's a splitter on the floor down there you have to split your cable line one cable line goes to your tuning adapter the other cable line goes to the seating device which there is the coupler right there and I really don't care too much for this cable hookup because it's very fragile look how look how skinny it is it won't take too much to break that but anyways the USB will plug into the computer which um, Windows 7 recognizes the um, device no problem as long as you have it set to go to Windows Update to get drivers it'll install drivers for this thing no problem at all because they don't give you a CD for this thing you just plug it in and it gets the drivers off the internet and like, like I just mentioned the ones uh, Windows 7 will go on Windows Update and get the drivers for you just fine and once you get this set up you're pretty much ready to go unless you have signal problems <clears throat> which I'll, I'll come back to that here shortly Anyways, back to the computer in there. So basically, as I mentioned earlier, this tuner card is already paired with the cable card. When you guys set this up for the first time, you have to actually um, pair this tuner card. And once you pair it, it's done. You can even put it in a different computer and it'll still be paired. Because the pairing information is stored to the internal memory on the card. Now, if you ever had a case where your Satan device lost its pairing information, like let's say if you power cycled the computer and, you, and it lost its pairing information, then your car is defective and you'll need to return it to Satan for a replacement because it should not lose its pairing information. And I also applied a beta firmware because the firmware that was on my car when I bought it um, was flawed because the car would actually lock up and it would require a reboot of Windows. But, um, anyways, we'll click next <clears throat> and select the correct provider, which is Charlotte Time Warner Cable Digital. Select next and click next to confirm. Let's see if it successfully updates. This is this is where a lot of times they'll have that infinite loop. It was successful, so now it's downloading the program guide. But yeah, if that play ready update doesn't complete successfully and you can't seem to um, fix it, um, whenever I run to that issue, I'll make a video about how to fix it because I do know how to fix it. There is quite a bit involved, but as long as you can follow directions, you you can figure it out. Anyways, TV sap is done. But anyways, with the play ready, um, if it doesn't update. You can you can actually forget about watching the majority of Time Warner Cable because I just made a video yesterday about them applying copy once protection to almost every single channel. Because, I mean, the protection is really meant for movie channels and stuff, but no, they're going to apply it to every channel. But anyways, back to the point here. The TV setup is done. Click finish. Now you can start watching TV. Here's how you access that um, seating device from over the network to actually check it over the, using the web browser. Click on network and here's the device, you double click. It shows you some information about what, like what channel it's tuned to, signal level, and of course with time on a cable, oh it's one copy on everything. Yeah, so that way if you um, want to watch a show on that TV, no, it's not going to happen. You can only watch it on this small monitor here. Sorry, too bad. Anyways, um, this is tuner 1, tuner 2, 
tuner 3, and tuner 4. And I notice the signal levels, signal levels are starting to get a little, little bit higher than what they should be. Now I haven't noticed any problems with the TV yet. Now I do have a, um, <clears throat> I've actually got a Time Warner Cable represent, um, Repair Guy's actual phone number so I can get a hold of him quickly if I need assistance with this thing. He came out here early, um, a few weeks back to fix a signal and he was really impressed with this tuner card. It was something he wanted to have in his own system. He even stated that the, that the picture quality looks a lot better than what the box gives you. But anyways, um, as you see, this is this is um, the emergency operating system that's on that tuner card device. You can check your cable card and everything with it. Tells you the system, <coughs> the host connection. Which this is talking about the computer that it's installed in. And tells you the stats of the tuning adapter, which is plugged into the USB in there as I showed you earlier. It has a um, error log so that you can go through and look at everything. I noticed the date is not correct, it's saying January 2nd on everything. <clears throat> Maybe this is from when the car was in the factory. There's no telling. Anyways, that wraps up the video of how to set this tun um, tuner card up on a computer, at least over a network connection. In the question or comments, feel free to ask, and thanks for watching.